So this is a video that I wanted to make for a little while and it goes around, if you've seen any of my game collecting tips and tricks stuff before, you'll know that one of my philosophies with game collecting is about don't believe the rarity. Now, I wanted to do this video for a little while, but I wanted to wait until I had the prop in my hand in order to illustrate what, what I was trying to say. And I'll, I'll just get into it. Now, from time to time, if you're a game collector like me, you will go on YouTube and from time to time you will check out rarity lists or, or what is supposedly rarity lists. Now, I'm going to do a bit of myth busting here. And this game that I'm about to show you turns up time and time again on people's top 10 rarest Wii games. Now, I don't know... I'm not saying I, know, I, I obviously don't know everything about rarity, but what I am saying is that don't just believe what these videos tell you. Go out and do your research for yourself. And the game that I'm going to talk about that appears on everyone's, almost, well, almost everyone's top 10 rarest Wii games is Cyberbike for the Wii. Now, let me myth bust this for a second. Okay? Lots of people say this came bundled with the Cyberbike accessory that came out for the Wii. Now, that is relatively rare, I will grant you. Um, but this game was actually sold separately. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Look, there is, there is nowhere on the back of this game that says not to be sold separately. This is the retail package of the game sold separately. And as you can see, you don't even need the Cyberbike to play it. You can play it with uh, Wii remotes or uh, Pro Pads and, um, and the Nunchuck controller. You don't even need the bike to play this game. That's why it was sold separately. Now, everything I'm going to say from this point forward is a fact in PAL territories. Now, in the US, it may be slightly different, but this game was actually sold separately in the US. So... Uh, most of this is going to apply to you as well. Now, the common wisdom seems to be that the Cyberbike was only ever sold through shopping channels. Like, the, you know, the shopping channels where you ring up a number, it's on the television and you buy it direct from them. Well, in Europe that is utter nonsense. Um, it was sold on shopping channels, yes. It was also sold in retail shops. Um, I'm sure before they went bust, Comet had them on sale. I'm pretty sure Curry's did as well. Um, and if you don't know Comet and Curry's, then they're British large uh, retail shops where you go and buy white goods like washing machines and things. Um, it was also sold on Amazon. In the UK, you could buy these on Amazon, so there was no shortage of places to buy them. People just didn't because they were relatively expensive. Um, so the bikes were sold in an awful lot of places. They weren't just sold um, on TV shopping networks. Um, there was no exclusivity deals done with, with TV shopping networks in any territory. And, um, yeah, so it's it's... Almost, be, it's beyond belief that that's the only place they would have been sold in the US. But I know for a fact, in the UK, they definitely were sold in a lot of places. Um, so again, this game isn't rare because every single Cyberbike came with a copy of this game. Uh, and the game was also sold separately. So in no way can it be considered a rare game on the Wii. Um, and in fact, this was £3 something, uh, which I just picked up on a whim. Uh, not because you don't see them every day, but because I bought it specifically to make a point. I'm probably not even going to play it. Um, the other point I want to make is that there were actually two versions of the Cyberbike for the Wii. Now, this is what a lot... another. This is another thing that a lot of people don't seem to get. There were actually two versions. There was the original version of the Cyberbike, I'm, I'm talking about the actual bicycle here now, that was called Cyberbike Cycling Sports. There was also a second version that came in black 
that's called Cyberbike Magnetics, and which also came with this game as well. But the the bicycle, the actual bicycle itself, was completely different, um, and it, it worked on. Um, uh, rather than working on physical resistance, it worked on magnetic resistance. So it, it's actually slightly different there as well. Slightly different technology used in the bike. So there are actually two cyber bikes available for the Wii. A white one, which is the original, and a black one, which is the more uh, advanced magnetic uh, version. The other thing that I want to mention that never turns up and and I mean never. And if you want to talk about rare versions of the Cyberbike, why not talk about the PlayStation 3 one? Because there was one. There was a PlayStation 3 Cyberbike. And it, it, it shouldn't even be on the Wii list of, of, of rare Wii games, but it should definitely be on the list of rare PlayStation 3 games. Because um, you just never see it. It was called Cyberbike 2... And even scouring the internet, you'll be hard pushed to actually find a picture of it, but it does exist. It's called Cyberbike 2. It comes with the magnetic version of the Cyberbike, which is almost indistinguishable from the Wii version. Um, so the, the second version on the Wii is the same bike, give or take, that came with the PlayStation 3 version. And it comes with a PlayStation 3 version of Cyberbike that is called Cyberbike 2. Now, if you want to talk about rarity, for all the people banging on about how rare this is on the Wii, there is no question that it is hundreds of times rarer on the PlayStation 3. Why? Because it wasn't... It, it wasn't sold anywhere. It was... It was that was actually as far as I'm aware, in the UK, um, sold through Amazon. So if you didn't buy one on Amazon when it came out, you, you didn't get one. Uh, it wasn't on home shopping networks, and it wasn't sold on in general stores. Um, in fact, I have literally no other clue of anywhere that ever sold it. So this is me just debunking a myth. Stop calling this game rare, the entirety of the internet. It is not, it should not even be on your top 10 of rare Wii games. If you're doing a rare PS3 list, though, it should definitely be on there. Because it, it, the Cyberbike for the PlayStation 3 is one of the rarest games the console has got. Um, and if you own one, good for you. Nobody will ever buy it off you at the price you want for it. Uh, bad luck. So you're stuck with a bike forever. And that's it. This is, it was just literally myth debunking, and and basically the reason behind it is because I have, I've been trying to curate my Wii collection a little bit better, because uh, I keep going into charity shops and buying things that I don't need, um, talking to things I don't need, but that's what I've been doing. So I've been so in order to do that, I've been watching a lot of stuff on the Nintendo Wii, and I keep seeing these this game turn up in people's top ten rarity lists. Um, and it's just not. Get over it. It is not a rare game. It's not. It's not. Um, but when I'm curating my PlayStation 3 collection and I go to look at rarity lists there, then I definitely expect to see Cyberbike because it is rare on the PlayStation 3. And that's it. So all I say is, if you're talking about rarity... Go and do your research, get your facts straight, and then start telling people about it. Um, even and and just just so you're aware, even trying to do the research on the PlayStation Three version of the Cyberbike is an utter nightmare. Um, there's very little information on it. Um, now. I could contact Big Ben Interactive directly and ask if they've got any information on it, but quite frankly, I I don't care because I I don't want. Even if I had a full PlayStation Three set and, um, I was missing that one, I I probably wouldn't even care to buy it because I can't I cannot see me ever playing it. I cannot see me hopping on an exercise bike and pretending to pedal. Uh, through badly drawn streets. So anyway, <coughs> stop holding this up as as the sort of um, 
I don't know, it, it seems to start, it, it's starting to gain some sort of mythical status as if this is going to be the future stadium events on the Nintendo Wii. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. Um, for those of you that are sitting on 100 copies of this hoping that that is going to happen, um, it's not. Now, I have actually got something that I've bought recently for the Nintendo Wii that I think is genuinely going to be a rarity. Um, I could tell you what it is, but I'm not going to. So you'll have to wait for my next pickups video to see what it is. And I will hopefully have quite a fun story to go with it when I do the pickups video. But yeah, I just wanted to get it out there that... I know only 20 people are going to see my video as opposed to the millions of people that have been watching various other people's rarity guides. But the trouble with rarity guides is one person tends to do one and then another person tends to do pretty much the same one. And it just goes on and on and on. So by the time you've watched six or seven rarity top tens for any one console, bearing in mind that the last one that was made probably just watched the first six and decided to do exactly the same. Uh, so do bear that in mind. That's why most of these top tens come out the same, uh, with no real thought or research put into them. Uh, so yeah. I don't know where it is on the rarity list for Wii, but bearing in mind that without the bike, this is effectively a cheapo shovelware title anyway. Um, so... I'm guessing it's not even anywhere near as rare as people are claiming. Um, it, it's probably... I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what to compare it to. I, it's probably less rare than Mario and Sonic go to the Olympics. Um, yeah. That, that would be my guess. Um, so that's it. I... I don't know what else to say. It was a, I've I've literally been chomping at the bit for for about a week, maybe two weeks, waiting to do this video, and I finally got it out, and I feel so much better. Um, so if anyone has any comments or questions, you know, you can go to the Twitter or you can write some comments in or whatever. Um, but yeah, you know the rules by now, and I will. Uh, yeah, so. Watch my pickups video if you want to see the, the genuinely rare thing that I think I've bought. Um, and keep watching all my other content for anything else I decide to throw up. Uh, you know, just, just to satisfy... Yeah, some of this stuff's just becoming an exercise in self-indulgence at this point. But... You know, maybe it's self-indulgence with a point to make. So um, hopefully I'll see you in another video.